Okay guys, so you may notice that we're not in Minahogany Town today, and there is a reason for that actually. Um, if you guys watched the little fake Pokemon vlog thing I did yesterday, I mentioned that I tried recording a video and it didn't really work out. Well, it turns out I was stupid enough to save after doing that. And um, you guys missed a little bit of the game. What happened was I went into Goldenrod here, I got my little rocket suit thing. I went up the tower and battled Petrel, and then he's like, oh hey, you gotta go to the underground. And then we stopped playing there. So today, we're gonna be going to the underground and going and kicking off a very probably intense rival battle, which I'm actually glad it didn't skip because the a Petrel battle is not really that important, but the rival battle, oh my god, Butterfree, what do you think of the rival battle? You, you, Butterfrawl is poking at the garbage. I... I don't know if you're calling silver garbage, or or what that's supposed to mean, but I approve. Okay, well let's- ah crap, it's the Kakariko Village girl. What are you doing here? Team Jocker sees Black running around, what, what's going on? So took on Team Rocket? You are impressive, man. You must be able to face the legendary Polka- oh, oh, never mind, I didn't say anything. I'm a tease, blah, yeah. Goodbye. I might got a Majora Mask tease, but they just won't confirm the game because everybody knows it's going to happen, but they just won't say, hey, Majora's Mask is coming because I want to play Majora's Mask, but I don't have an N64 and I don't want to play the Majora's Mask in an emulator. I just want to play it on my 3DS and they're just making it so difficult. Why can't they just say, hey, we're going to be doing a Majora's Mask remake? Would that just be so hard? Yes, apparently it would be, huh? Nintendo? Huh? Yeah. Just freaking say it already. So today being posted is Christmas Eve. Um, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, it's actually like 11.23 on November 23rd, but, um, it's obviously, by the time this is posted, it'll be Christmas Eve. So, Team Caterpie, or, if you don't celebrate Christmas, well, I don't know what to say. I, I feel bad for you, because, I mean, if you celebrate Hanukkah, then happy... I know I'm a little late, because Hanukkah was, like, in November and everything, and if you celebrate Kwanzaa... Why? I don't know. I don't know what the benefits of Kwanzaa are, so maybe we should. St I should probably like look that up or something. Um, what other holidays are? Smithmas, without a doubt, my favorite holiday is. Oh, I didn't mean to run. Is my favorite holiday is Smithmas. I look forward to it. I think this is like the fourth or third or fourth annual Smithmas, and I have to say I I have not been disappointed by the gifts that Saxton Hale has provided with us. It's been a very good Smithmas for the Caterpie and Hardy family, so... I bet some of you probably don't even know what Smithmas is, and that's just a little disappointing if you think about it. Smithmas is the Team Fortress 2 holiday season little celebration thing. Um, when, did, when did it become like... Usually this is known as like the Christmas time, but all of a sudden lately, because people are like so butthurt and sensitive about absolutely anything, it's become like this... Um, holiday season like you you're not allowed to say Christmas sometimes it seems which is complete bullshit I mean I won't care like if I was Jewish and if someone came up to me and said Merry Christmas I just I'd be like oh okay cool you know whatever and a Christian and a Jewish guy came up to me and said Happy Hanukkah I'd be like whoa that's actually kind of cool because then I like why'd well, be hey where's my gift for my nine days sucker huh yeah but obviously it doesn't work that way and I don't get gifts for nine days but, you know, I'm starting to celebrate. I'm, I'm not starting to celebrate. I'm starting to think, like, me being my personal beliefs, why do I celebrate Christmas? Like, I know the, the, the reason I celebrate Christmas is because I was raised, like, celebrating Christmas, and that's just how it has been. But, um, I'm... Okay, wait, hold on. I gotta concentrate on this maze. I never once understood how this works. That's not right. That's not right. Oh! Okay, so you just... What are we just... Just go in order. Oh, well that... I was expecting a much more difficult challenge, and apparently you... It, it's not a difficult challenge, which... I have to say, like, I, I was building this up, like, oh man, this is gonna be intense, this is gonna take forever, this is gonna be like the entire video trying to figure out how you freaking unlock this door, and it's... It's apparently not over that complicated. I don't even... They don't even, like, give you any hint to how it's done. They just put three buttons on the wall, and then put, like, a bunch of colored tiles on the floor? That's... Oh my god, MOM! What do you got with us, Mom? What did you get? Hello, oh, hi, Hardy. I got you some Christmas presents, so I'm gonna give them to the delivery man because I'm not a good enough mom to come giving them to you myself. Wahaha! -ha. Well, that's just rude, Mom. I mean, I am your son after all. You think you could just, like, make a little. I mean, you're a Pokemon trainer or something, right? I mean, you gotta go to, like, Goldenrod 
to go to the department store. I mean, where else do you get food in this world besides, like, the department store? Because, oh god, now we're gonna get into that whole Pokologic, like, loophole of, like, what are hamburgers made out of? Are hamburgers made of milk tanks? Because there's something very twisted and wrong about that. But at the same time, you gotta think Moo Moo Milk is literally coming out of the milk tanks. So, is, is that okay? Like, if we're willing to drink their milk, then... Oh my god, this is reminding me of something um, that I saw on, I think, Tumblr. And it was talking about, like, if you um, watered a tree with apple juice, would it be considered um, cannibalism? And someone replied, like, well, technically... Um... Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, completely ruin the joke now because I don't remember... <laughs> But someone ended up responding saying that, that I think apple, I think it was apple cider, not apple juice. That um, apple cider is actually made from like the seeds or the something, something that you use to like grow trees. It's like the seeds of trees or something like that. And someone responded like, "This is this is just the this is just the worst joke," and I apologize. But basically. It turns out that whenever you drink apple cider, you're actually drinking apple sperm. And I'm just gonna let that one... See, this is this is why I should not tell jokes. I have the picture saved, um, so if I can find it, I'll include it on the screen. Or I'll put like a link to it or something so you guys could actually read it. Because I, I literally just destroyed that joke. And I apologize, because it was probably a really good joke, and now it just... It just, it, it is no more. And it, it's really a shame because that's like the beauty of Tumblr. Tumblr is a very addicting website. I want to point that out. Um, I, I would I have to stop myself from going on Tumblr because I will just waste time and so much time on that website. Um, like the other day, I went on Tumblr on my phone because I was bored. Before I did that, on my phone, I had used like 30 megabytes of data which I'm assuming is not that much. Although I'd use like four, 300 megabytes through my Wi-Fi because I barely ever go outside. So it's like, when am I going to actually use my data? Luckily for me, I have unlimited data on my phone, so it doesn't matter either way. But after I went on Tumblr, I had used about like 500 megabytes of data. <laughs> so um, Tumblr is a very addicting website and I can't allow myself to go on there because if I want to pass some time and I'm just like extremely bored, then yeah, Tumblr's great, but like if I just accidentally click the website and I like look at one post, well, that's pretty much my entire day gone right there because the website's just so fantastic. I swear Tumblr might be like one of the best websites ever created. And um, I've had it bookmarked for so long and I haven't clicked the link for the bookmark probably one time in like the past six months just because I know I, I can't go on this website it, it will not end well I just I can't do it and I have a feeling I should probably save that's how it happened like that, now I remember um early in this video I'm like oh I was stupid and I saved after my last recording but then I remembered I in the last recording I actually did play farther than where the game started but I had saved during that recording because I was afraid of glitches so okay See, I'm not dumb, I was being smart, and in the process, being smart turned out to be a dumb thing. So, does that, wait, does that mean I was being smart, or does that mean I was being dumb? Oh god, this is, like, seriously hurting my brain right now, I don't understand what I'm, what I'm, what am I even doing right now? Guys, I, I seriously, I need your help, I don't understand, like, is this... This, you can't even blame this on Pokelogic. This is just me being a dumbass because I don't know how Pokemon works. And I just... I don't I don't even know like what to say right now. Um, I, abs I blew my own mind simply by talking to myself. That has to be a talent, right? That has... <gasps> I remember! I remember this moment from my Spirit Gold lock. Um, I was about to take on Ariana, and I was talking about, like, waging a war against ants, because they attacked my coke. 
I don't know why, but just seeing Ariana, because that, that moment was in one of the best that I did, which I really need to do a third one, by the way, because it's been a while. But, um, just, just, oh, crap, you live that, and, wow, Murkrow, you're so bulky. What, man, I hope no one has a Honchkrow, that would really suck. But, um, I don't know why I remember that, but apparently people really like that mo- Oh my god, why is everything living? Apparently people really like that moment, because they was they told me to put it in the best of Party Tech Yo-Yo, which, I was probably in number two, because, um, or it might have been number one, I, I have no clue to be honest, but you guys should go watch both of those Best of Hardy Tech Yoga videos because they provide the best darn laughs you'll ever see from a guy talking about donuts. That's right, there's like an entire video, this, literally the thumbnail of the first one is just a picture of a donut because that literally sums up my entire channel is donuts, which makes no sense because my best friend Rusty is the donut prince, yet I'm the one that's obsessed with talking about donuts. Why? I don't know. I don't even like donuts that much. I like... Well, I'm really picky about my donuts, is the thing. Um, I like just normal glazed donuts. And I don't really like chocolate donuts, but I like mini chocolate donuts. Like, I like the full-size chocolate donuts, which really makes no sense. I know. I, uh, now that I'm saying that out loud and I'm hearing it, I'm like, Hardy, that's really confusing. Like, why do you only like the smaller versions? But, um... Maybe it's to compensate that I like smaller things to compensate for, like, make me feel more secure about small things. I'll leave the rest of that up to you guys' imagination. But, um, I, I really, I don't like sprinkles, I don't like jelly-filled donuts. I, powdered donuts are kind of iffy for me. I occasionally like powdered donuts. Um, not always, I don't know. It's, it's really just kind of, um... It depends on the mood I'm in, you know, if what kind of donut I want, and sometimes I just want a really good donut, and yes, a few days ago when uh, me and Rusty were driving down to Southern California, we passed the donut shop that had a Santa Claus outside, and it was just the coolest thing, because I'm like, it's Santa Donuts, and Rusty refused to pull over. I was like legitimately pissed for a while, because I wanted to go in that donut shop, and she's always bragging about how much she loves donuts, and she'd do like anything for a good donut, and we're here passing a donut Santa shop, and she wouldn't stop, and it was just our traitor. But, oh, 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 I almost forgot. According to my friend, sorry, what do I you put? Okay, that's cool, I thought we were done. I thought this is the part where he fakes you out, and it turns out he actually had something insightful, but now he's gonna be like, oh, are you expecting something? This is what they call fake out. Ha <laughs> ha, back to my office, derp de derp. And you guys know what I call a fake out? Not this, because I'm not editing the video yet. I am now. Bye.